second. First thing I want to build on is what a lot of people want to know. Um, that door. The pimp's up, hose down. Once I get my hair done, I'm going to transform into the super pimp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really have my full powers until my hair is done. Oh. How, how did you actually get involved with that? You know, a lot of people were introduced to Ice-T through that, a lot of the younger generation yeah. and whatnot. Okay, well, basically what happened was we've been going to the Players Ball for years because, you know, I'm friends with Bishop Magic Juan, who's basically like, you know, one of the top pimps out throughout the country. And basically, you know, it's known fact that I've been involved in the life, you know, pimps and hoes and shit like that. So me, Shiny Sean, Big Rich, we go out to Chicago every chance we could. And uh, at the time uh, that was being sh shot, we were running one of the hottest call girl services in Los Angeles at the time. So I took one of my little bras out there and uh, we was representing some real live pimping, man. I mean, you know, hope to die pimping, man. You know, pull your boots up in the morning and say pimp, pimp, pimp. You know, yeah, and get out there and put that out there and get that money, man. You know, so uh, basically, uh, it was all real. The video was shot for two years, just like this, with a camera floating around, and people were saying, "Oh, that's some HBO cats." And we like, "Yeah, whatever." You know, I don't know no motherfucker from HBO, whatever and shit. <laughs> and then one day, I'm at the house, and um, niggas called me, "Yo, nigga, you on blast, man? They got you on blast on HBO talking some pimp shit." Like what? <laughs> what? They like, oh man, they oh you oh you clown and they got you and Tabitha coming through the door and the minx and the shit. You know, that was I was boo, my hair was done. I was like I was like, damn man, you know, first I didn't really know because at the time I was doing films and you know, trying to clean my image up a little bit, you know, so I could get this paper, man, because that's real pimping really, you know. But uh I said uh before I knew it, man, people were calling me, man, we love it, man. Jewish attorneys, hey, right on, pimps up, hoes down, man. You're like, really, man, tell me what to do with my wife. I'm like, smack the bitch early in the morning, you know? So, uh, you know, it turned out to be, it's funny, though, to me, because a lot of people would, would, would watch it and say, that's real. I'm like, yeah, stupid. I've been rapping about this for 10 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you think this is all, I'm a, it's a figment of my imagination. One, one thing that is unique about you, outside of like any other artist, is that you can actually artistically, you know, drop the socially conscious stuff. And go right to the Yeah, you know, the gangsterism, the, the pimp, and, and you can get away with it, and people won't look at it as being a contradiction. Why, why, why do you see it like that? You know what it is, it's just that I think everybody and everybody in reality has all these facets to themselves, you know? It's like me and you can sit up and we can talk about, you know, the homelessness and the issues and the gangs and the problems and our ghetto, be me and you being black men and dealing with that. And then look, look at them. Do you see her ass? And then we jump right out of it because that's really how we are. And then you'd be like, turn on Jason, kill that bitch, kill that bitch, you know, because that's just part of it, you know what I'm saying? And I always just found fun in saying the worst possible shit, you know. And sometimes if you don't stay too serious or stay too, too, too bullshit people kind of pick it up. Like, I sit in front of an interviewer, and be like, I'll be like, yeah, man, you know, and the problems, and this, and AIDS, and, but I gotta get the fuck out of here, because I gotta go to a pit bull fight. You know, just like, they be like, stuff, oh, this motherfucking crazy. But really, I think I'm this not, one of the few artists that's not afraid to just have fun, you know? There's no image going on here. I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the word of life, you know, the word, you know, I'm a rock and shit. I'm like, yo, man, this shit rap. I lived the life, I've been through it, I done been out there and got down, but I don't have to carry myself in any particular way to make you feel it. And if you don't feel it, then that's your mistake, because it could get you caught out there tripping with me, you know what I'm saying? But really, I don't have no problems with nobody no more. It's kind of like I lived past my life expectancy a long time ago, man. I'm just trying to have fun, man, you know? And yeah, that means making some wrong jokes or something, but I think I think the trick I think the real trick to Ice T is all people who really understand Ice T understand the whole shit. It don't bother them. Yeah. It's like Ice is finna say the wrongest shit possibly and that shit dope. I like it. But I always been that kind of guy. I could walk into a room for killers and then all the killers be sitting in there and I could walk in there and be like, All y'all niggas just stay seated. Just stay seated. I'm in here, it's okay, y'all ain't got to stand up. And them niggas laugh. <laughs> I said that niggas a trip. Another nigga walk in, do that same shit, they'll murder him. The 
you mean? You know, so it's kind of like, I don't know, I got some little, little bit of diplomatic immunity. I can play around with shit. People know what to take serious and what not to take serious. <laughs> no All right, before, before we go, um, let people know what you're doing as far as um, your next album, because it's going to be on the internet. Yeah. You've been on multiple labels. Right. You're doing the internet thing. I think you, outside of, uh, of P.E., you know, P.E. actually took the step, you know, they, they've had platinum, multi-platinum records and actually went this internet route. You're, you're in the same boat, you know, the gold and the platinum. Why did you decide to go this route? Because it's the way of the future, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when I left Warner Brothers after Cop Killer, I did licensing deals with other record labels and, you know, you can get a percentage and it's cool, but it still requires so much money to get a group out there that you can't put out the material you want to put out. And, uh, you know, I talked to Chuck D, and me and him is like brothers. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of my one of my my basic rules of life is only take advice from people you admire. You know, and I admire Chuck, and he told me, he said, man, you know, Al Teller's got something going over here. It's called Atomic Pop, man. Put it down. Let's go over here and let's just fuck the industry up, man. Let's start, you know, this underground thing, net, and uh. It's the best place where you can put records out uncensored, unedited. People can come in, listen to the record. You can listen to my whole album before you buy it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now, I, is that front or what? I'm here. Check it out. This is what you got. And then I can throw up sites where I can put out Mark Live or anybody. And the next day, put a new record up every night. It's internet fast. And um, once you go to my site, you can get in-depth interviews, you can talk to me, you can email me. It's just the way shit should be. It should have been a long time ago. And a lot of a lot of heads right now, they ain't on to the net. But, uh, you know, like in the game, they say you think wrong, you think wrong. I'm letting you know that this is the way it's going to go. Why is, would somebody go to a record store and buy a record when you can just sit in front of in your bedroom or, or whip out your laptop? dial on to a number and have the fucking record sent right to your computer, you know, and then from there download it in MP3 uh, fashion to a car stereo that's going to play 430 hours of these files and stuff, and this is the future, so, you know, if you want to see where we're going, go to Corner Records, see, where's my thing? Where's the thing at? Here we go, some blatant promotion, Corner, and I know this is Girl, butt, all that. That's part of Ice T. That's so you don't throw this thing down. But the thing is, cornerrecords.com. Corn, C O R O N E R records.com. You know, you go there. We got the two first records that are coming out by us. This is my album, The Seventh Deadly Sin. And this is The Game of Death by my um, by the corner niggas called Murder Incorporated. This is before Jay Z and them decided to call themselves Murder Incorporated. But I said, F it, there's an East Coast and a West Coast Murder Incorporated. <laughs> but this is a uh, this is our compilation that's coming out. It's what's happening, man. It's the net, and uh, I think everybody should get hip to it. Any of you heads out there that's thinking about starting a record label, think about the net first. You know. You, the distribution is can, is directly to your house, man. It's so simple. You can cut out all them fools that have been ripping us off for years and shit, you know. So, or try to get connected to Corner Records, cornerrecords.com. Email me. Get me some of your material and come out on my site, you know what I'm saying, where it's going to definitely be, you know, a couple hundred thousand hits a week. People going to be trying to hit and listen, check and buy and shit. Word up, you heard it live and direct, my man, I see, word up. Yo, but Big thank, up. thank you for, uh, you know, representing, because really, these types of shows are the ones that really keep it real, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you go on a lot of these other rap shows and they just bullshit, you know, they're gonna play this video and this is hot, and you guys, people like y'all that have the small independent shows, or what it's about, man, came out here to see me on the Warp Tour, you know what I'm saying? And, this is how you expand this horizon of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Two years from now, somebody out there might be on this tour, you know, but these guys were here before you. So, you know, you gotta show respect to your cats out here in St. Louis, just, you know, showing you shit like this, man, because, you know, people don't want to do that all the time. I. Right?